Howdy everyone and welcome back to The More You Grow. Today we've got an exciting project. I'm getting everything ready to put our potato crop out in the ground. And I would normally like to put that out around the middle of February, the end of February for my area. But I've been at school this whole time and it's been really wet and soggy here at home where you really don't want to put potato pieces out in the ground. They would just get wet and rot and get soggy and they'll just die. Don't want that. But today I've got about 16 pounds of two different kinds of potatoes here. And that's going to be a lot of potatoes. So I thought I'd bring you along, show you how I get all my potato starts ready and how we get them all planted out in the field for the best success. So let's go check it out. Okay, so the first step in growing your own potatoes is finding a source of seed potatoes. And all that is is a potato that has been sold and set aside specifically for the purpose of growing more potatoes. And you can usually find those down at your local feed store or somewhere local, but if you can't, you can usually order them online. But they're usually pretty easy to find somewhere around where you live. And I've got two different varieties here. I've got Yukon Gold and I've got Red Lasota. These do really well for my area, but I would say for you to look up what varieties do well for where you live because it can kind of differ from time to time. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually divide up these pieces. And you could plant them just like they are, just like this, but if you divide these up, you can get more potatoes for the same price. And who doesn't want that, for sure? So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these up. And the way you do this is you want to cut these to where you get two eyes per piece. And that's just going to ensure that if one of the eyes dies, it's got a chance to grow from the other. And so you kind of just strategically cut these pieces up. There's sometimes where you can get two pieces per potato, just cutting it in half. You can sometimes quarter it and get two eyes per piece. And I'd say that's just strategically kind of looking at it per potato. And sometimes they're so small that you can't cut them. So it just kind of depends on the potato that you have. So I'm going to go along here. I'm going to cut all these potatoes up. I've already kind of got started. And I'll get back with y'all after that. Alrighty guys, I've got all the potatoes cut up that I can. I've got one tray of them here and I'm bringing the rest out here on the front porch since it's a nice windy day. And the reason why I'm doing that is we want to let these superize. And we've said that before in a few videos. We said that in the pineapple video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. And what that means is we're going to let these cuts here, we're going to let those scar over, kind of make a dry spot. We don't want to plant these while they're still wet because that's just inviting things like molds and fungi and stuff like that to start growing on our potatoes and we don't want that so we want these to heal over first and all we're going to do is we're going to leave these on these trays with the cut sides up and where they are got enough airflow in between we're going to leave these on the front porch let them dry down for a day or so and then i'll get back with you on just a little while all righty guys we're on our way to go plant potatoes but before we go out there we're needing to go check on my cows y'all haven't got to see them on the channel yet so I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you the cows I have. They're really close to having their calves. So just here in a few weeks, not very long, we're going to have some calves on the ground. Hopefully I can get some of that on video. But in the meantime, let's see what these cows are up to. Here they come a-running. These cows like their food. They do like their food. They're big and pregnant. Won't be too long before we have our calves on the ground. These are some brangus cows here. I've had these, these are actually calves that I raised for my first set of cows and they turned out to be some nice ones. I've got some heifers over at the new place I'll show y'all in just a little bit that's going to be joining these ladies as part of, as part of the farm. Yeah, they're a little stingy. They don't like to share. two replacement heifers that's going to be joining those cows here shortly and joining the farm here. Alright guys we're out here at the land now and we've got our seed potatoes all ready to go. The ones we cut we let those dry for about two and a half days or super eyes so now these wounds are all healed over and these are ready to go in the ground. What we're going to do now is we need to prepare our bed to plant our seed potatoes in. What we're going to do is we're going to take the tractor back here. We've got a PTO tiller on the back and that's going to get a nice bed to put these potatoes in. So we're going to do that and I'll get back with y'all in just a minute. All 
right, so we got our row all tilled up now. We tilled it about six inches deep. The reason why we tilled it that deep is just going to let those potato roots go out deeper and faster than they would if we only tilled down as deep as the plants need to go. So that's just going to help them along a little bit faster. So now what we need to do is just get our seed pieces in the ground and I'm going to take you a little bit closer and show you how to get them planted, the spacing of your rows and your plants, and the depth you need to put your seed pieces. So let's go check it out. All right guys, so we're putting these potatoes in the ground here. Got my dad helping me out here. And we're gonna be putting these potatoes about 12 inches or a foot apart. And we're gonna put them about two to three inches deep. And if you were to have multiple rows, you're gonna to wanna to put your rows about two, three foot apart. And that'll give you plenty of space. If your potatoes already have eyes on them, you wanna put those eyes pointing up because that's going to help them grow a little bit faster there. So we're just gonna put the rest of these in the ground and I'll get right back with you on just a little bit. All right, so we got the row all planted out here. We've got the red Lasotas planted up until that first log right there. We've got the Yukon Golds planted up till the last log and that's the whole row here. That's gonna be a lot of tater tots, you guys. And at this point, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the soil with a layer of mulch. And I'll talk a little bit more about that as we go along. So there you go, guys. That's all there is to it. We're gonna wait for these to start sprouting, which will take maybe three, four weeks. And as they do, we're gonna start doing things like mounding the soil around our potatoes to help us grow more potatoes in the end. But as that happens, I'll be sure to bring you all along. So until then, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to comment if you have any more questions for me on anything I did along the way. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. That way you can be there for when all the new videos come out. And be sure to go check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, I hope you'll join me right here on The More You Grow.